guys, what is going on? Linky here and welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP server. In the previous episode, you guys, we did a few things, got a little bit of stuff done, worked on our farms and all that good stuff. And right now we're using Kevin's little fancy default edit. It's very nice looking. I'm getting kind of low frames on it though, but the sky at night is just phenomenal and I can't get over how beautiful this texture pack looks. If you guys want to go get it for yourselves, I will leave a download link in the description down below where you guys can go and check out the texture pack. I gotta say, just like honestly, it's amazing and I'm pretty, do those stars twinkle or am I just going crazy? But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful texture pack and if you guys want to go and get it, down link will be in the description. It's the, uh, this is steak, but it's renamed to chum. But anyway guys, we have a few things to get done in today's episode. Firstly, I finally put the finishing touches on my shop, Linky Store. So there you go. There's Linky's store. You can pay here. Um, I'm going to be selling my items here. Really, I love this store. Like, look how nice this looks. Like, it's such a beautiful store, especially in this texture pack. It just works so well. Now, the one problem I've had is coming up with ideas of what to sell here. Now, I've had a few ideas. Like, I was going to make a food store, but then... I was going to make, like, a like a kind of material store. Then Fluffy made his store. I was going to make a food store... But then Kazuto made a convenience store. I was going to make like some sort of cool fancy like building shop where you can buy things to get built. But then I realized one, I'm not a good builder and two, Dan is making a building store. So we're running out of ideas and that's what I need you guys for. I want you guys in the comment section down below to leave me some suggestions for what you guys. Oh my God. What was that? Is it raining? And can I just not tell? Oh, skeleton. But I want you guys to leave me a comment. Whoop down below, letting me know what you guys want to see me build in my shop, and if I think it's a good idea, I'll go ahead and build it. What happened to my sky? Hello? Is there, like, like a weather thing that we missed or something? Uh, where can I find weather? Hello? Animations. Why do I have them all on? Let's turn them on. Oh, it is raining. Oh, I understand why I turned my animations off. All off. But anyway, guys, so just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want me to see, what you guys want to see me build at my shop. The winner, uh, the person that I pick, I'll give you guys a shout out on my next Purge episode. So this is going to be the episode to send in your suggestions for what kind of shop you think I should build. And if it's a good suggestion, I'll use it and I will give you a little, a little cheeky shout out. So I hope you all enjoy that. Anyway, there's been a bunch of new changes to spawn that we're going to go and check out. The first notable change is that we have put vines across the center of purge spawn, which looks phenomenal. Um, I started up there, but it looks phenomenal now, so big props to, I believe it was Will that worked on that. And then we'll start on this road and we'll make our way over here where all the biggest stuff is. Fluffy's here, by the way. We're going to get a little shot on him here. Hello, Fluffy. How are you? Whoop. Nah, yeah, I did not predict that right. But over here, we've got a few new things. The first thing is we've been working on the roads. So the roads look great in this texture pack, but I believe this is just cobblestone. Oh, well, I I, I didn't do that. But uh, my store's here, so that's the first thing. Linky's whatever store. I'll probably put a path to it once I come up with an idea for it. <clears throat> the next store we have has been here for a while. It is Fluffy's Rocks, Blocks, and More Shop, which sells rocks, blocks, and more, as it's stated in the name of the shop. Then next to it, we have a pretty interesting design of birch and oak made by Kazuto, which is his convenience store by Food and Crops. If we shut this here, he's got a really cool thing going for him. He's got the names of all the items floating above the different boxes of food. So there's like, there's pumpkins and he has the price. So there's one lapis for four pumpkins. Actually, <clears throat> um, I don't know if he means lapis block or not. People really need to be more aware of that. But that is what? One lapis? I don't know. Okay. Th see, this is what I always seem to do. I'm going to give him a block because I'm not sure I need a crafting table. Hang on. Let's go. Let's go get a crafting table quickly. Get out of here, Zamboni. But let's get a crafting table and we're going to check. Um, I'll give him a block anyway just because I'm nice. But I don't know if it... I'll probably message him on Skype. But I don't know if it requires a lapis lazuli, like a piece, or a lapis block. So... It's, uh, the currency's difficult to come up with on Purge because no one really states it properly, but we'll buy four pumpkins, we'll give him a lapis block. There you go, and he sells, like, all the cool stuff, like, carrots, wheat, steak, chicken, bread, all that cool stuff is all in the stop and shop, and, oh, buddy! Hi! Goodbye. You survive for now. But, that's pretty cool, and Kazuto has done a great job on it. Over here, I don't know if I've shown this recently, we're actually thinking of revamping this just to kind of maybe actually like have some pretty fun tournaments, but we're going to be revamping the basketball court. I think Fluffy said that was something he was interested in doing, so that is going to be very cool. Um, We're going to come up with a better way to do this. We might do something 
uh, that the cube does on their server and put kind of a pressure plate with a slime block that way you can jump and get some trick shots in. Because right now, let's pretend this dirt is a um, basketball. If we run up to it and shoot, as you can see I missed, but if we run up to it, you can kind of jump and throw it and it won't go in. Um, okay, this is, okay, really? Seriously? Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna get this. Hang on a second. We're gonna take a running jump up to it and we'll bam. Ooh, got it in. See, it's you gotta you gotta like jump off the chest and everything, and that's where they have basketballs. But there are no basketballs in there. So we're gonna be thinking we're thinking of revamping that. Let me let us know in the comments if you guys want to see us revamp it and come maybe have like some teams on purge or something. I think that'd be pretty cool to have like kind of like a basketball league on purge. That might be something I could set up like the well Emma, what's basketball in real life? That's the NBA, so the national. I think it's I think it's uh, the National Basketball Association. So we could call it like the uh, PBA, the Purge Basketball Association or something like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. And now if we go over here, uh, there's a bunch of new shops. This whole area was completely like different last time I recorded a video. So there's a lot to check out. First thing on the right is the Chum Bucket made by Trident. So in here you can buy chicken or you can buy steak and you can pay back here. And it is, what is that? 12 equals 2 Lapis. So you got to, again, people need to... Clarify if it's blocks or just lapis lazuli. Next up, I believe this is Precious Shop that he is currently in the process of working on. He's got a bunch of food here. I believe, from what he said in TeamSpeak a few days ago, it's going to be a rival shop to Kazudo's convenience store, which should be pretty cool for business. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of food stores going up, trying to get the best prices and all that stuff. If we go down here, there's open room for another shop, as long as Prez doesn't expand that at all. And then on the right, we have Dan's coal cabin as if you guys remember from the original purge server dan had a coal cabin he's going ahead in this server and he's going to be remaking it really amazing design on the coal cabin if we go outside it just looks so good like honestly this build this is my favorite build on purge right now like even better than spawn i love the coal cabin it just the inside roofing looks amazing this little area here they look really cool you could probably put some villagers in here i just think it's a really cool concept and great job to dan on working on it next thing is an area i have claimed for another shop I don't know what these are, but I think it's part of this design. But this is an area I've outlined it with uh, stone stone buttons. This is going to be where my next shop is going to be. I have not come up with the idea. Actually, no. This shop might be like an auction house or something. So it's going to be more of a um, a priority building more than a shop. But it might be something along the, along the lines of an auction house. I think that's going to be really cool. And it'll probably go here. I might expand it that way uh, off camera because I'm not sure how much room I'm going to need right now. But that is there. Next up, we have a Plicity's Bookshop, which... Again, just like Dan's build uses the cool leaf theme that they got going over here. It looks really good. It's not done yet, but if we go inside, he's beginning to stock it up. We have a Abacave. Oh, Will might be looking to do Abacaving. Oh, I might, I might try to, I might try to join that with them. But wait, those enchanted. Yeah, they just okay. Uh, but I might try to join in that with them. If you guys want to see me do some Abacaving, let me know. Next up, we have Fluffy Shop, which is right here. It's not done yet, but it's like, kind of like a corner store. What's he selling? See Tom. Oh, it's a coordinate shop. So. If you guys remember back on the first season of Purge, Console or Garrett, who is no longer doing YouTube, sadly, we don't know what happened to him, but he built a coordinate shop and he basically went out and found rare biomes and rare structures and he sold the coordinates to these places in a shop. And this is what Fluffy's doing. He's carrying on the legacy and I think this is a really cool looking shop. Maybe some more detail on the walls on the inside, but on the outside, it looks amazing. And I like the crafting table here. I think that's really neat. Over here is something, I guess it's just kind of an aesthetic thing, but it is a bridge going over a little water area. I think that's pretty neat. And then over here, as you guys know, is the village that I get most of my wheat from for my bread because my wheat farm at home at my base doesn't really doesn't really give me that much wheat. And then it's going to be all of the shops on this side of Purge. Now we have this long road, it kind of looks like a world edited road. We're working on adding some more detail to it. But that's going to be the road that we're going to be adding more shops to. Hopefully eventually this can curve all the way and hit that road over there that only has three shops. This is definitely the prime spot to be right now. And that is why I claimed a spot over there because I want to have the best business. And getting a good spot is just, it's the most important thing when trying to get business to a building or a store or an auction house or some, some kind of community build. So there's one more thing we got to check out. Uh, I don't know if they've done any more work over here, but we'll definitely go and check that out. And I'm going to try to keep my screen from showing over there. But I did this. I worked on this little road, and now this road connects over to the mob grinder, so we now have a nice area to get to the mob grinder. I like that since when we went on the beach, like when it transferred over to where the beach is, they added the sandstone slabs. I think that's really cool. And this just goes down to the mob grinder now. We can actually go check if they've made any adjustments to the mob grinder. I'm not sure if they have. I think Gapple and Will, they're the ones like spearheading a spawn right now. I'm not sure if they've made any improvements. They have. They've cut off these areas. Uh, it's still the basic mob grinder that we always know, so that's pretty nice. 
Um, I definitely come here. I've got 33 levels, if you guys can't tell right now. And that's that's the mob grinders where I got those levels from. Actually, I'm going to put these. Nope, we are full on our inventory. But there's one more spot of spawn that I got to show you guys. I'm going to put my head down for this. Hang on, let me walk this way. It's over on the other corner of Purge spawn. We're going to go into the center here and take a look at it. Hopefully, I don't accidentally give anything away. All right, so we're here. Now, if we go over here, get ready for this, guys. You guys ready? So if we go over here, the road brings us to here which is a nice little road, and you ready, guys? Three, two, one, boom. They have started construction. It's not done yet, obviously, but they've started construction on a really amazing-looking bridge. Now, the bridge, it looks phenomenal. Gaplin and Wheel are doing a great job with all this stuff. I think it looks really cool. Even from, and there's our Sea Temple, which looks great in the background. The bridge looks amazing from the side. I think this is going to be one of the best things. Actually, I might want to get a screenshot of that. I'll turn my render distance up, put clouds on after I finish recording. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail for today's video, but I think that looks phenomenal. Big shout out to Gaplin Will for doing this. And it leads, it's going to lead into, if you guys are fans of the old Purge stuff, as I've been mentioning, a new underground section of spawn. We did this in the first season. It was kind of like the big thing of Purge. We had an underground shop district. And that's what we're working on again. We have begun construction on it, building into the mountain. DJ is helping Gaplin Will with this as well, but I am so hyped to have our underground space back. It was such a cool concept on the first season. I wasn't on when they first started doing it. I joined back in like uh, March of last year is when I joined Purge, but I've been friends with all the Purge people since for over a year now. Uh, but this was such a great idea from the very beginning, so it's a great thing that we're doing it on Season 2, and I'm very hyped to see the outcome of this. And I'll be building some shops in here as well. I've got an idea for, like, a real estate business. Um, I might be... i got a ton of ideas right now, because Purge is just... It's so motivating to play right now. I'm just so excited for everything. This spot up here, I want to get that spot. I want to go check quickly, actually. I haven't checked this in a while, but this spot up here at the top of the hill could be an amazing thing for a mega structure. And that's what I just said, a mega structure. Now we're going to put a crafting table down in the ground here, just to let everyone know that I've got this area claimed. I don't have a sign, but we can, we'll make one off camera, but a mega structure is something that I'm definitely interested in building this season. A tower, a skyscraper, something that'll just make my mark at spawn. I think that could be really cool. A building, maybe we could use it as like offices or homes at spawn. Uh, I think all those ideas could be pretty cool. Maybe we could build a monorail track or some kind of really aesthetically pleasing looking uh, thing going up to the top of the mountain. Maybe we can, I don't know, just so many cool ideas that I have right now for this piece of land. And honestly, this is an episode I want your opinions on. I'm going to be working really hard off camera to get some of these ideas done. And I hope you guys are happy with the Purge series as a whole. I'm going to try to get more clips into my future episodes. This is kind of the transitional episode, moving away from these raw recordings, maybe going into clips, staying with, I don't know. It's up, ultimately, it's up to you guys on what you want to see. Also, I've been working on putting a lot more personality in my videos because it has become apparent to me that I really don't show a lot of like enthusiasm and excitement in my videos. And I know that if I do, you guys are going to like them even more. So I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Purge SMP server. If you did, please be sure to leave a comment down below. And as always, I've been Linky, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Cause you see only what you want to. Your tunnel vision wants you. And you can see what's wrong when you keep sleeping through the PM. Eyes wide open when you're dreaming. You're sleepwalking. Just keep talking. Maybe you can talk your way out of this deep end. Don't be planning your system. Just tell me what you're thinking. I'm scared.